Hey. Oh my God. Hi. How are you? Going I through it. I don't <laughs> know. How are you? I'm good. Well, I hope you're all amazing out there because today's a very special day on No Gorge. It is. First of all, it's our first Halloween episode, kind of. Sure. Yeah. This is spooky. I feel like <laughs> I, I was told I'd look like a slutty Russian figure skater. You do. You about do. to do a triple axel on your ass. Oh, shit. Okay. And I mean that. That's um, very drag race to say. Oh. About to do a triple axel on your ass. Okay, well. <laughs> V-I-O-L-E-T. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can't compete with me. <laughs> Counts, qu- gowns, crowns. Yeah. For the cou- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, well, I love where we're going today. I love okay. that because it's so special mm-hmm. because today on No Gorge, no we are joined by the extra special phenomenon <laughs> the one and only <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! thank you for having me girls oh my god here. thank you, Wait, you, can touch you really oh can. oh yeah <laughs> you really like this every there time. we go so, well, oh, well maybe, she's a little maybe flaccid. not <laughs> <laughs> maybe my first instinct was correct yeah. she was been Honestly. through it <laughs> there's a special <laughs> yeah Perfect. Welcome to No <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's an honor to be here. No core. <laughs> no, we're, we're so excited to have you. We wanted to have you on for a long time time yeah we've been talking about it for so we've long we've been talking about it for about a year yeah. but i think it's fate because now is like the best time ever yeah because you guys are going on tour we are going, we on, are tour. going on tour i know imagine if we had you on earlier it just wouldn't it wouldn't have made sense well it's as you can see well the viewers don't know but you know we, it's, it's really like a down home with our hearts operation over here. They know. They don't know. They do know. <laughs> <laughs> we like have audio sometimes. Well, and it's, it's a like podcast. People- <laughs> <laughs> I know, there's a lot going on. There's lights and cameras and actions and sound and microphones and things and stones. And it's yeah. a lot of shit going on over here. So it's hard to have guests that yeah. we can feel comfortable. But we want to be like stunning and gorgeous all the time. But you have to break the fourth wall with the guests. Baby. And getting us in the same room at the same time is already hard. Mm-hmm. And then getting another angel superstar in the room and at the same time, Forget triple about hard. It. But, Forget about but here it. we are. We're doing it. We are. Yeah. And we look like we're members of like a fierce coven right now. Yeah. We're calling the corners. Oh, I love it. God. I look. I love this hair for me. Oh. Don't you? I, I do. do. Like I think it. it's like a new era for me. Maybe like a little less of the mm. blonde streaks, but oh. I think like just. It's just a be, whisper of blonde. Maybe a little more of a whisper, mm-hmm. but the 2000s streaky sitch with black around the face might be the new vibe. Oh my God, I love it. A new era for you. You I heard it here first. You heard it. I'm getting a pony made right now. Wow. Ooh. I'm not joking, era. Uh, so what era would you say you're in, Allie, right now? I mean, I know, mm. but I want to hear you You love an era. Oh, well, what era would you say I was in? Well, you're in like, <laughs> I want to say... The weird world era. First of all, good job saying it right. <laughs> the first time. world. I know. The weird world. First weird of all, world. I agree with you. It's fucking weird. Right. It's so. I find myself saying, well, "That was weird." Like <laughs> so much these days. Mm-hmm. Is that where you where it came from? You like constantly being like, "Well, that was fucking weird." Yeah, as a broad <laughs> generalization. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. I would say weird world is like summed up by like. A little new wave, a little surrealism. Um, I don't know. You tell us. Yeah, I mean, it was it was uh, it was produced by me, and so it was just all of my favorite tastes being indulged, which is largely post punk and new wave music from the UK in the early eighties. So yeah, it's a lot. A lot of that. A lot of that. Fierce. I love that. I feel like I met you before I was like an Aliex stan. And I was like, I don't even know how we met. How did we, we meet? We met. <laughs> we met because of uh, Vidget. We were t- oh. Yeah. Uh, is Vidget the, <laughs> wait, is Vidget the 
through line for all of us? I did. You guys meet because of Vidget? No, no, we met because of all the rage. Yeah, uh, which is an old so- song of mine. Yeah, I do know that. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. a gr- I was not an Ali X Tan when I met her either. Wow. We have that in common. And then I switched. We both hated her. And, so and, her. <laughs> and then I know. And then I was like, oh, okay, I like the vibes going on here. I like the vibes. And then I became like a big fan, actually. No, literally. Say. No, we. Um, I started doing your makeup sometimes, and then literally, I was just like listening to your music, and I was like, "Wait, wait!" So I actually we major. met before that, though. I just remembered with like Gigi. No, no, it was a Bailey thing. Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what was it? It was. It, we were at some studio. I barely knew LA at that time, so I don't even know where we were. But we were shooting some editorial, and you were. You were the first person to ever block my brows. It was oh that day. <laughs> wow, that's special. So funny. I get up in these little pop stars gigs and I'm like, time for drag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Exactly. Like, yeah. I did Kim Petras' first ever photo shoot and I was like, orange eyeshadow. Like, it was just like, oh, oh like, so you're responsible. <laughs> yes, always. Okay. If you see a pop star go left, it's me behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just went for it. And that's why when I did, I did Super Sunset, the Vidget was shooting oh, the work so for. Good. Yeah. I was like, Gotta have that bitch back to do my makeup for this era. Oh, shit. And that's sort right. of, yeah. Oh, that was so fun. And I remember we did, like, your um, Not So Bad in L.A. video. Oh, yeah. And I remember driving. And it was, like, we were filming in this, like, junkyard so far. I remember like. I got, like, I, I took an edible the night before that. <laughs> and I woke up and it had just hit me that morning. <laughs> what? I had to drive. <laughs> yeah. It in was, the jungle? Uh, junkyard. Junkyard. Junk- in the junkyard. Yeah, so I, I arrived to set a little bit. That's everything. Yeah. I love that song. I That's love what- that whole, I mean, I love every single one of your albums, and literally, I am, like, you are one of my, like, go-to getting ready divas. Oh, thank you. Because I've talked about it on the podcast before, but if something happens, if I'm getting stressed, I'm getting ready, I cannot listen to my normal music, mm-hmm. like, which is, like, Neither can I. a little too hard. Like, I go a little too hard with the music. You genres. guys both really like a, a heavy... <laughs> heavy hitting <laughs> yes beat. and you're like yeah. one of the only divas that will like it's tranquil. like so fun but like i'm trying i'm tranquil Compa- <laughs> yeah, compared, not, not not tranquil. compared to rob zombie and fucking like marilyn manson yeah yeah and then yours i'm like i'm like in a girly fun mood ready to turn it's it but not it's like, so bad in la oh. And that song, sometimes I'll go on YouTube. This is so weird, but I'll go on YouTube. I love that song. The lyrics, like just everything. Whenever I'm parking, I think about it. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> the parking. Mm. Yeah. like it's not so bad. Mm. Just find the parking. Yeah. Yeah. Like today, and, I watched like today three blocks. Three blocks. Can you believe it? It's not so bad in, in LA. LA. <laughs> uh, we're in the valley. We're not even in LA. This is fucking not even San Fernando. I know. Um, but yeah, no. I'll go on the. I'll play it on YouTube, like the music video, and I'll up the speed and run on the treadmill to it. Like, oh, I'm that's like, fun. Yes, isn't that that's weird? Fun. It's so weird. I'm like, a I'm like, it's not so bad in LA. Like, I've never heard of anyone doing that, actually. I'm I trying to, to imagine that. Okay, interesting. It's fierce. Yeah. Just up the BPM. I feel like, like that's a whole lifestyle, what you're describing there. Like, there's a subset of culture that, that does that. The upset for the, the treadmill. Does anyone do that? I've never heard of that, but I love the idea. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, They have, like, workout mixes where I think they just pump the BPM up. Yeah. But then when the voice gets a little off, I'm like, fuck. Oh, and I have to go down, like, mm. 2.25. Mm. <laughs> YouTube needs more options for me on the treadmill. Wow. But yeah, so this album, So Fear, so gorgeous of a new era. I'm so excited to see your looks because you're also a visual diva. I am a visual diva. Yeah, on top of being like literally doing everything. You literally do it all. I do it all. You do it all. You're like (laughs) writing. I'm going to say you're like my music mother. Of yeah, sorts. I like that. My musical yeah. mother. I'll take it. Yeah. I asked you for advice. We've done a song together. Mm-hmm. I'm sure, I hope they know. It's like one yeah. of the coolest projects I've ever done, Mistress Violet. Mistress Violet was, Mistress Violet was a really hit. Good. I yeah. feel like it's like one of the, I think it is like the most streamed song that any Drag Race girl has like worked on, I think. I don't know the exact number. I love also just saying stuff on a podcast that's not, not true. true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I just like say things. Well, I've never thought of the numbers until you brought it up. You were like, yeah, this is the monthly lister subscribers. Da, da, da. I've never even thought about like the ranking of anything and then rolling stone i think ranked us the number four drag queen song in the world 
Ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Ever. ever. Uh, number. F- I mean, I don't what know. What was number? What was number one? Yeah, you're like, um, hey, was <laughs> maybe it was Supermodel by RuPaul? I don't know. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. That does make. Oh, I think Divine was on there. I think we beat Divine. We beat Divine, which is crazy. <laughs> I lo- I mean, like Divine's one of my biggest inspirations. So the fact that we beat her out is like major. Beat her out for sure. But like, re- like iconic. Love you so much. Yeah, no, Mr. Spy is everything. That music video was so fucking iconic and major. It really was. It, really it really was. It was a moment for sure. Yeah. What was your favorite part of working with me? Oh <laughs> no, seriously, I love being styled by you. I feel like you're. You do? Yeah. I mean, well, we had a, <laughs> we had a little falling out. It wasn't I'll a falling out. Us. It was. I think it's the opposite of a falling out. I think it's a falling in. I th- oh. I feel like it was a falling in too. A falling. Just in. got closer. <laughs> well, I think, you know, sometimes people can collaborate in amazing ways. And then sometimes a mature artist is going to be like, okay, maybe not in this way. But. Yeah, totally. And in, in Mistress Violet, I felt like I was just entering your world and, you know, just giving over my body to you. you and really you just, did. yeah, and it was, it was super fun for a day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, I got to, I like had the privilege of being able to sell you for, for our song, for our video, and um, you showed some skin. I showed some tits. You got some corsets on. You, I think, posted the picture in like a. I think I put you in like a cat suit with a corset, and you had your tits out. Yeah. And you were like, "What was the caption?" It was like, "You better enjoy these." Yeah, you tits. better enjoy these tits because you'll never see them again. Something to <laughs> yes. that effect. And, and you then, meant it. Yeah. You were like, <laughs> "You meant it for." I'm real. wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love it. Well, that's a yeah. good segue to one of your your songs on the new album, "Off with Her Tits." Oh yeah. Oh my god! Literally, I did my um my like top surgery look on Drag Race mm-hmm. and I used that song. I know, I saw it. And Thank literally you. didn't My see. mom was like, God, Mick posted your song. <laughs> I was like, just my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Like everyone freaked out, and so like libs of TikTok, like everyone, like Elon Musk posted like a thing that has that in it, and it's like fully like your song. I'm like Jesus, Elon I'm Musk this- posted yes, like, this whole like this whole like right wing like crazy. Oh, thing. like a propaganda thing. Yes, like it, off I was- with her tits was in an Elon Musk yes, right wing propaganda it. ad. No, the right wingers went <laughs> crazy I'm for this one. There was yes. some girl on some right wing like talk show that was like this is disgusting how yes. dare Megan you Kelly. you should be outraged Swarovski covered blood and titties did and you see oh that it was cr- I have to send it to you you're gonna gag it's- I love that you're causing such an outrage I know outrage. well it literally wouldn't have even been the same without the song the song oh. like made it though I Don't mean the think? look was like, the, the look really made it but I'm yeah. glad that you included me thank I you I mean it had to that song is like everything like, i feel like it's become I a like trans it. queer anthem it of is sorts. a hundred percent how think? do you feel about that oh my god for i sure. mean if if it is then i'm i'm absolutely honored um <laughs> yeah that song that song it's sort of like would have been impossible i think to explain with words like what the song explained for me if that makes sense and whenever i'm talking about in interviews i never even want to go too deep into it let's go deep into it because (laughs) because it's like it can it be literal absolutely can it be um a joke absolutely is it sarcastic yes is it completely truthful and vulnerable yes like it's kind of it's all of the above yeah and i just want it to be like whatever it is for whoever cares to listen to it yeah i love that that's a perfect explanation yeah no and that's what that look was to me too and people were like this is like offensive for this community or this is like positive for this community i'm like that's just what art is it's like Mm -hmm. pick it up if you want put it down if you want like get into it like it's literally up to you to interpret it how you want so it's just good to put it out there no matter what yeah and i mean i picked it up and i live like that's obviously like Hello. I literally did get my tits chopped off, so I love that song. Yeah, <laughs> it's like literal for me. It's thank so you. fun. Yeah. Thank you. It's really good. We were just talking to the kitchen. I was like, Ali was like, dude, it's the last time I saw you, you had tits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah totally. I was like, no, 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 save it for the cameras. Uh, literally before I transitioned. That is so crazy. Mm-hmm. Like- I, when I when I last was like hanging with you and we were doing looks, like that was just as you were starting to take tea and or sorry, not take tea. Yeah. Yeah, take yeah, tea. Take yeah, tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and and just like navigating all the sort of beginnings of just, that. So crazy. Yeah. I'm so gagged. I've known you that long. I know. <laughs> what is going on? I've I know. known you that long too. We've all known each other that long, which is crazy. I think we all sing. <laughs> no, it's. Cr- I mean, I met you in the same way that you and Ali met, doing my makeup on a at shoot Vigit. for Vidget. Oh, no way! Yes, uh, oh, and again, you guys. literally the most aggressive makeup artist I've ever met in my entire life. Like, <laughs> grabbed my face, was like, I was like, well, I want to keep no, and like started wiping all my makeup off and like slapping prosthetics on and like slapping all this crazy shit on. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad we all had the same <laughs> shared experience, and you also had tits. Yeah, well, yeah, that's so weird. It is. Yeah, it's a. Would you say it's a weird world? Yes, I live in a weird world. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Well, this will be my first like m- proper music industry tour experience. Mm-hmm. So, so what are you excited about uh, for the tour? What are you going to be serving? What can we expect look-wise, production-wise? Last time I saw you was at House of Yes in New York. It was at House of Yes in New York. So uh-huh. we were House of Yes yesterday. That's when I saw you. That was a long time ago. And it was amazing. It was the best show ever. You thought so? You sounded amazing. You looked I felt amazing. I like I was just okay that night. What? Um, that means so much that you like that, though. But yeah. You have like an opera trained voice. I do have an opera trained voice. So. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it works. Sometimes it sounds obnoxious. But um, this, uh, I'm excited. I feel like I'm a lot better now. Like my show. I've just had a lot more experience since since then. So I don't know. You can expect also just doing like the Girl With No Face tour earlier this year. Like my team, my crew, my band, like everything. I kind of I made a lot of mistakes that I I everything's just much more tight now. So I, I, I'm just excited to like have a really tight show. And, and, and once everything's really like on lock, then you can really start having fun. Mm-hmm. So I love that. I'm excited for that. I'm going to be including some of the. I just announced like a deluxe version of the album, so I'll be including some new songs, Ooh, which will be fun. Oh my god! And yeah, I have like a production manager for the first time ever. So also like just overall production will be a, a slightly higher value. Like okay. I, I don't know. I just that's fierce. I've been trying to you know I've been trying to get to this point for so long. So it's just it's just exciting for me to be able. to to tour sub- sustainably now like it took me so long yeah um that might be kind of a, a boring answer but that's that's that is what i'm the most and meeting the fans of course of course i have really lovely fans like i Loyal. i kind i yeah and i kind of forget and then i i meet them and i'm just like wait i'd be friends with like most of you that's fierce yeah that's fierce I that is that. really fierce what's like the craziest showbiz on stage off stage backstage thing that's happened to you on a live performance, I'd say. Do you have? I, I, nothing comes to mind immediately. Could you, do, you, do you guys have stories, and then I can like oh. try to think of one. I have so many. Um, the mafia showed up one time what? to my show in Italy <laughs> with guns. What? Yeah. Like to enjoy a show, or uh, like to uh, to collect money from you? My. Oh God. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, I think we've told this story on the pod yeah, before. Yeah. Um. I was working with a promoter and the promoter routed the tour and in a lot of European countries, a foreigner has to pay like a performance tax, like a foreigner performance And you tax. hadn't paid the tax so they came to collect it? The promoter it? sold all the tickets, the tour sold out, took all the money from all the ticket sales, didn't advance any of the show, didn't do any hotels, didn't do any flights, didn't pay any of the performance fees, didn't book any venues. Oh my God. So I have a sold out tour no money from the ticket sales oh my God. and nothing advanced. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> and so luckily my manager at the time fronted all the money. We signed like a deal with the promoter that paid cause he paid basically his back debt. The drag world is fucked up in the head more so in a different way than the music industry. Mm-hmm. So we show up. that sounds so, so shady already. Oh, it was mm-hmm. so scary. And then I was like, if I cancel the tour, I look bad. So I couldn't, I was like, not, I was like, we can't cancel. Yeah. So we went ahead with the tour and we figured out a way to do everything and pay for everything. And like, we just figured it out. But then I get to Italy. And one thing that was overlooked was this foreigner performance tax. And I guess now it had accrued to like 27,000 euros. What? Wait, yes. why so high? Was that like a, it a, had to be the a mafia per- a percentage of the whole tour? I have no baby. This, this is one of my, this is my first time solo touring ever. Was $27,000 tax. 
<laughs> See, I don't fucking I mean, know. Yeah. They showed up with a piece of loose leaf that said, you owe us 27,000 euros and oh guns. My, oh my God. Randomly, regularly dressed people with guns and a piece of loose leaf paper showed up to my show. And I'm like in drag in a gown, like, where are they? I, are they going to shoot me? Bring them to me. You are such a diva. I and love I, that. And my, my team is like, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. I'm like, show me that. Bring them. Where are the guns? Show me the guns. Who's, they're going to kill me. They'll be great press. Let's fucking go. That's amazing. And everyone, my whole team <sighs> is packing all my, packing all the gear. And I'm like, don't do, don't you fucking, we're doing this fucking show. <sighs> Meanwhile, I've got <sighs> the Moschino and Prada team that have done custom looks for me outside the doors oh in Milan. God. Oh my God. Ready to come see my show. And they're the muff or what these did guys. You, you should have gone to Prada and be like, what do I do? I, <laughs> I literally did. And they were like, we don't know, bitch. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? And it's just, I can't yeah, just. Like, that's, that's like that's really the craziest next thing that could insanity. happen though. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe it's real. Yeah, that like doesn't ever happen. That's like crazy. It's the craziest things ever happened. Like to anyone. And there were people, there were witnesses. Yeah. And it was that we, we figured it out somehow. <laughs> and um, the show ran two hours late because of it. Wow. That's, that's. That's the that's the top story. Yeah, that's really, so you've never had anything like that. I don't happen. think so. No, has has what what's what's your craziest? I don't know. I feel like my every time I even attempt to do any sort of tour it ends up being fucking crazy. But our pride tour was crazy. Oh my god, our pride one was wild. But I think this last one was crazy because I was like really adamant about doing this like fire stuff and so oh, yeah. every single show i had to meet with the fire department of the city and there was like and How some of the fire them. departments out there are fucking assholes and i don't know if you knew that but they are and they would like literally just be like show up and even see my outfit and stuff and they'd be like no and i'd be like and Your then outfit. i would it was that yes. bad yes and they <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> And then I was like, literally would be doing my makeup and they're like, we can't, like, we can't uh, do your shit tonight. And I'd be like, no. And I'd like get a robe on and I'd go, or I'd literally wear like a thong and just like naked and I would go out and I'd be Where like, are these fucking bitches? Like, bring them in. And I would literally like do the fire. I was like, why? And they're like, well, if you get someone that like is, has a, like every state has like a different law. So I had to like learn every fire. And I was like, well, in this state, if someone even has a license in the whole room, I'm allowed to do it. So I'd be like oh on Instagram God. finding people with like the licenses. Yeah, and it was like, and I would have to go ahead, and I'd be like, "I'm impressed the that you navigated that." It was crazy, and it was for like, it was for at first, it was like a really short amount of like time, like five seconds. It was like five seconds at first, and then I changed the whole mix and made the dancers like add like a whole part and everything because I was like, "If I'm fighting this yeah, hard, we're, yeah, we're doing getting, like we're doing at least more thirty fire. seconds." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, it was crazy, and then yeah, and it was. It was just a journey to fight every fire marshal. And sometimes they were just so mean. And they would like, uh, they're like, if I even see one spark on that stage, we're shutting this whole theater down forever. And this other theater people would be like, please, God, don't do it. And I'd be like, we'll see. Like, <laughs> I, like, because I didn't want to like do it. You're that. a monster. I, like, I love but that. Even I wasn't going to do it, I had to like turn around and be like, I'm not going to, but I just have to stay strong in front of these fire dudes. I'm like, We'll see if I do it or not. And they're like, we'll be watching. I was like, I'm sure you will be. Like, very Madonna. Great. She's going to get arrested yeah, for yeah, masturbating. Yeah. Like, yes. I'm not changing my show. I'm not changing my show. Yeah. <laughs> do I just something watched my that eyebrows. clip the other night. Yeah, it's so, so good. good. So good. You've never like fallen or had your wig fall off or? Um, um, one time I like, Wardrobe malfunction? One time I, my wig was, I was wearing this like high up down ponytail. And I just like before, when I, before I started touring a lot, I like did not clean my lace every time. You Ugh, that it was so gross. I would just like that was my crust wig. punk. Yeah, I would just like put Crusty my wig back crust. on. Which I think a lot of people just do. I, I just did that. Know. I had one tour with a. Actually, Dustin made that. And you like you were there. You you came with Dustin, and delivered that wig to the rehearsal oh, studio. Do you remember? I do remember that. It was that. a blonde. I do and I didn't that. know how to take care of it, so it definitely got crusty. Crusty. And so I would just like glue it on, and then one time it was just to a level that I, there was just like no glue in the world could glue it on my head because it was so crusted and mm. busted and so i glued it and then i just felt it performing coming off and it would just be sliding back and then for some reason i must have been just drunk don't know after the show it was in brooklyn and we, i was just like my wig was like literally off and i was like of course i will touch all of your hands and take photos with everyone at the front of the stage and i literally sat on my knees and took photos with everyone after the thing with my fucking wig back like a freak isn't that weird? Cra- Isn't that and weird? I didn't think about it. I was just like, yeah, of course, a, a weird, weird world. Hi to you guys. Yes, and 
course I'm going to say hi to you guys. And I took all these photos and hung out. And then to this day, I'll see a photo and my wig is just like, and I have like white Your face Your forehead paint, looks as so big like as mine. So skin tone headband. <laughs> like it's, I was like, why did I, t- out of all the shows, choose to do that day? Yeah. But yeah, nothing wild on stage. I love the violent stories about the, the mafia threatening death and yours is about my wig having so wigs. Back. And it didn't even come off all the way. <laughs> I've had everything happen. Yes. Zippers well, break, fallen, wigs fall off, fell off a lira, broke a marble table one time. Oh, shit. Iconically. Was it Carrera? It was cheap, uh. apparently. <laughs> uh, I was like, performing on top of a marble table. so That was a moment. There's sure. been so many things that's happened. So you have nothing. The only thing that comes to mind is mismanagement (laughs) (laughs) it's other people (laughs) yeah so yeah you've been like you've like yelled at people backstage and stuff i've had tours that were just so stressful because like my girls like in my band and like most of the people that i handpicked to be in my crew i want them to work for me again i want them to be happy i don't want them to feel like exhausted or like they're being treated unfairly but then if you have just that one tour manager who's like it's it's a bad vibe or it's like toxic male energy or like Mm -hmm. and I had a tour where I dealt with like a lot of that and so the whole time I I was I wasn't sleeping I was just like so um yeah and just like and I just started making things I I was like okay I'm no longer being agreeable like this is becoming no more miss nice girl yeah so it just you know it was just got really I mean, unpleasant yeah, that that's that's sure. that's probably like but but it doesn't really make a good story it's just like but that's that's it's what comes tea. to mind yeah yeah i mean i've had backup dancers sabotage my performances before really yes very showgirls uh-huh. I mean, we've had i've had to the fire gays people try it. The, the, gays the faggots try it. They all think they're the star. The backup yes. dancers, they think I they're mean, the star. Back to the misogyny thing, too, because even what you were saying with yours, it's like they literally, these guys, like, find that they can build this industry and just, like, use drag queens to make, like, mm-hmm. way more money mm-hmm. off mm-hmm. of, like, the, the drag queen slumlords. Yes, it's crazy. The drag queen slumlords. The drag queen slumlords. They are out there. Buyer beware. But I feel like, yeah, some of them, karma has got. Well, yeah, because people we revealed Karma's who's the a sl- bitch. <laughs> Shin, there you go. What do you Bad. think of JoJo? I feel bad for JoJo, like, but why? I mean, she's sitting pretty in her. I think she's mansion. fine. Yeah, what, I've she, seen the video of her getting into a car with her face on it <laughs> outside of Craig's. I, my favorite is the TMZ one. They're like, "How do you feel about uh, it, like Gay bringing pop. migrant immigrants into the country?" She's like, "That's the same video." She's I like, "Whoa, <laughs> whoa, dude, whoa!" And then gets in a car with her face on it so. and drives away. It's amazing. I just feel like it's it's like it's like a kind of like a, what's that? character and i don't bubble boy like you're you're like raised in like a you're bubble raised boy. in this little bubble yeah. you don't stand a chance yeah the boy in the plastic like the, bubble like the real her reality it was just it just feels so quintessentially sad la to me that that yeah. i yeah i feel a bit bad yeah it's very like child, child star 101 yeah. but i hope i'm wrong i hope she's like People I can hope come she's out actually, other side. She yeah. does seem like a it's strong. Possible. I don't know her at all, so I really can't say. But what she gives out there is that she like. Well, and she's really a lesbian. About it, which is fierce. she's a lesbian. And she's a lesbian. That's you. Lesbians get through things. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Nice. Well, I'm half so excited and half so nervous to tour with you. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Gotta get through the first show. Yeah. Get through the finish line. We're so excited that you're here today. Do you have any final thoughts, words, things you want to get out into the public? I'm not really like good at plugging stuff. Like I d- <laughs> plug your shit, bitch. <laughs> no, I'm I'm really grateful um, to know both of you queens, to have had you in my life for so long, to have had some laughs, to have yeah. created iconography together. Very iconography. Yes. Mm-hmm. And. Um, yeah, come to the Weird World Tour. It's going to be cute. Yeah, everyone come. Ticket link in bio. It's going to be fierce. I'm really excited for both of you. I can't wait to see it. Ticket link, meet and greet link, exclusive merch, VIP situations, shows, shenanigans, glamour, live vocals, lip syncing, backing tracks, rhinestones, chiffon, artistry. Wow. 
I can't wait to see all of that. Terry cloth robe. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a matching hat. And a matching hat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of No, no Gosh. Oh. Was I allowed to do that? Yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, I love it. That oh, might be the cool. the we're gonna remix that one. Oh my god. You're just getting used to mm-hmm. your Get us voice some free here, vocals <laughs> over here. <laughs> Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon to get exclusive content, behind the scenes looks. Yeah. We've got some amazing Halloween content coming your way. Oh, yes. It's We're great. going to Knott's Scary Farm right after we wrap this up. So know, stay tuned get for that. I my scaredy cat undies on. <laughs> Panties, bitch. Oh, yes. Can't wait. Well, we love you guys so much. Thank you again, Allie, for being here. Yeah. We Thank love you. you. Love love you. And we'll see you all in the magazines. Bye, Gorge. Bye, gorgeous. Bye, gorgeous. No, gorgeous.